Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, Spatian family, Alt Space family? How's everybody doing? Jake here from the Spatial team, Director of Community at Spatial. We've got Jack here as well from our. What's up, guys? <clears throat> Leading support for Spatial. Nice to see you all here. And we have Gia from the Spatial team. She'll be on in a second. She lives on a lake, has some connection issues here and there. Um, so you'll see her pop in and out. Great to see you all here. Thanks for coming. This is this is we um, we like to do these occasionally. Maybe we're maybe going to do do these more often, especially now that we have the Alt Space family coming in. Uh, really excited to to have you all here today, um, and to to answer your questions, um, to to hope for for you to meet us, the spatial team. There's Gia, um, and we're gonna so we're gonna do some intros so you get to know us. Uh, do some demos of Spatial so you get to uh, know Spatial. Uh, and then we're going to bring on some of the, the Spatial community, our Spatial guides, um, who are doing some really awesome stuff on Spatial. They're hosting amazing events, uh, creating incredible spaces. So you'll get to know them as well. And they're a great resource um, as you come and join uh, the Spatial community. Um, so to kick things off, um, like I said, my name's Jake, uh, the Director of Community here at Spatial. Um, work on all things, of course, related uh, to our community, community engagement and events, uh, as well as uh, developer relations. As we launched our Unity SDK a couple of months ago, uh, working on uh, supporting our creators, our builders, our developers who are doing incredible things um, in uh, in Unity and bringing those uh, bringing those to spatial. Uh, Jack, do you want to do a quick quick intro yourself as well? For sure. Thank you, Jake. Um, <clears throat> my name is Jack, and I lead the support team at Spatial. So I do all things for users, whether it's answering questions, giving a little bit of guidance on, you know, how to use the platform and stuff. But really, I'm just a source of knowledge for all things Spatial related and you know, love answering all your guys' questions and love helping you all out. So, you know, feel free to reach out to support at Spatial whenever you want. And I'll be here. I'll be there to help you. Jack's your guy. Jack's your guy. If you need yeah, any help, yeah, he's, guy. Guy. he's awesome. He's awesome. Uh, yeah, are you there, are you there from, from your uh, lakeside villa there? The connection's going in and out, I think. But I uh, don't know if she can she can hear us. But uh, Gia is our incredible uh, director of marketing and partnerships. Uh, comes to us from, from years working in experiential marketing. Uh, has worked with some of the biggest brands in the world, uh, including Nike and the Super Bowl and so many others. Um, she does an incredible job of working with our partners and the brands that use Spatial, uh, working with incredible artists um, that use Spatial, uh, and just an amazing human being overall. Um, but unfortunately, has come into some technical difficulties today. Um, so she'll pop it out as her, as her connection allows. Um, but yeah, just welcome uh, our alt space community. We see a lot of... Um, uh, a lot of our friends from Spatial as well. It's great to have you all here. We've got already like 80 plus people in here already, which is awesome. Um, so Spatial, for, for those who don't know, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start sharing my screen here so you can see um, what we're talking about. Um, and let me take off this caption here. Um, I'm going to share my screen because seeing is believing. There we go. So sort of spatial for, for those who don't know, uh, we've been around a long time, not quite as long as Alt Space, uh, which is one of the OGs in the VR space, of course, um, but been around since 2018. Uh, started as this enterprise uh, augmented and virtual reality platform or one of the launch uh, platforms on the launch apps on the HoloLens 2 and the Magic Leap back in the day, and then launched our VR app on the MetaQuest and the Oculus Quest. Um, back in early 2020. So we've been on the MetaQuest a, a long time, but, but coming up on three years. Um, and today, uh, Spatial is really a platform for anyone to be able to build your worlds, your experiences, your hangouts with your friends. Uh, soon you'll be able to build whole games and interactive experiences um, on Spatial. 
uh, and have it all be accessible in a web browser on your phone. We've got mobile app uh, on iOS and Android, and then of course uh, in VR. Um, so we really aim to make uh, these virtual spaces, these immersive through the world, really as accessible uh, as possible, um, and really kind of democratize access uh, to these to these virtual worlds. Anyone can join uh, and access them and use them. Uh, you even don't even need an account um, to uh, to join Spatial. You can send someone a link to your space, and they can jump in without creating an account. And then when you do want to create an account, you can do it with a Google account, with a Microsoft account, uh, with Apple or email. So make it really, really easy to, to get in uh, and start using things. Uh, and we've got a special guest. It looks like our friend and founder of Spatial and CEO of Spatial, Anand, is in the house. Special surprise. What's going on, Anand? What's going on? What's going on? Sorry to interrupt your flow there. Just wanted to say hello and welcome. The alt space community is so excited to have them. I know it was a tough um, announcement for the whole the whole XR community, honestly, and the whole metaverse community. But um, just love the energy they're bringing and want to figure out how to support them. And, and uh, they're already giving us a ton of great feedback. Um, and uh, enjoy those awesome community vibes they bring. So yeah, so definitely. So yeah, I would go there, but yeah. Yeah, no, I I know you you you've been in the VR space a long time. Uh, building and stuff, you know, from your time at Bump Top to, to everything you've done at Google. And then, of course, you know, starting Spatial, like, was it six years ago now? Something like that, uh, which is pretty yeah. crazy. Yeah. So we so we know the Altspace family. We know the Microsoft family. Uh, we know Altspace before is Microsoft and then and then afterwards, too. So we're definitely feeling for you. So we're, we're doing these kinds of events, putting out these kinds of, um, like, we put out our guide to help you migrate from Altspace because we want to make sure that everything that you've created, the communities that you've built, the worlds that you've built, can still you know live on and hopefully you know thrive and grow you know even better uh, than they were before. So I hope this is an opportunity um, to really you know introduce you to a whole new community, a whole new world, um, and grow your communities you know even even more going into twenty twenty three. And also, I think like we want to learn from you guys as well. I mean, I, I'll say like I mean back I think when like yeah we started Spatial six and a half years ago. I think one of the first devices I used all space on was um, uh, Oculus DK one. I just remembered the warm energy from the alt space community. Like there was people greeting me, people like asking me for help on what, you know, what to do and stuff like that. And I was always like, you know, the energy and vibe they got there is really cool. So I would love to kind of understand, you know, how, what, what kind of special sauce they had and how we can kind of keep that energy and those vibes going for them. And also big up to the person joining from Newfoundland, Canada. I'm from Calgary so, and I've been to Newfoundland. So big up to Canadians and the Maritimes um, and that half time zone. <laughs> yeah, I saw some. I saw someone from Hello from Alberta. I think we got we got a Canadian crew. Yeah, we got a Canadian crew. So representing up north, the Great White North. Um, thanks, Honor, for hopping in. Uh, great, to have, always nice to have a surprise from the from the CEO popping. Oh, and back nice surprise popping. In. <laughs> we'll do this next time in spatial, where we won't have these these uh, these connection in and outs. Um, but all right, let's hop in. Let's hop into Spatial, do a quick demo, and then we'll bring in some of our community in because I know you want to hear from them, and then we'll get into answering your questions. Um, okay. So I just jumped into Spatial in the web browser since we're here on a live. Um, but you can also hop in, like I said, on your phone if you get the Spatial app on iOS and Android. And then we have it on the MetaQuest store too, so you can download it um, on the MetaQuest store on your headset. Um, but here um, in the web browser, I've already signed in. I've signed in with my Google account. So one click sign in, super, super easy and fast. Um, on the homepage here, we, we really try and promote and advertise um, all the great spaces that creators are building across the platform. So it starts with the carousel at the top um, where you can see you know, recent updates to the platform, some really premier events. For example, today, actually tonight at eight o'clock, um, McDonald's, in collaboration with incredible creator Karen X. Cheng, an uh, incredible uh, AR and tech builder and influencer on Instagram, they're hosting an event for the Lunar New Year tonight at 8 o'clock. So if you come back to Spatial at 8 p.m. Eastern time tonight, you'll be able to jump in. And Karen uh, herself will be there to talk about the Lunar New Year and her experience um, building on Spatial and building this incredible world, actually with our Creator Toolkit Unity SDK. So a great experience to meet uh, an amazing influencer and also learn about uh, different cultural aspects of the Lunar New Year. So we're always featuring different community spaces uh, and partner spaces at the top. 
And then if you come down, scroll down here, and you'll see a similar interface actually rolling out soon on our mobile app, um, you can see what's trending. So what are some of the top and most active spaces uh, on the space recently? And then popular, you know, what's been popular on sort of like a longer time horizon as well. So you get to see what people are doing. You can see who's in the space, how many people are in the space, and jump in super, super quick um, just with a click. And then on, their, on the Live Now tab, so this is a really cool feature that we have called Go Live. Um, so say you're hosting an event, which I know all spacers love to do, um, and you want to invite people or tell people that your event's starting or promote your event to your followers or your community. You'll see when we jump in that there's a button called Go Live. And if you click that when you're ready to start your event, um, this will actually, for one, put it here on the front page on the Live Now tab. Um, but it'll also send a notification to people who have liked the space um, previously or follow you on your profile. They'll get a notification uh, on their phone if they have the spatial mobile app, and they'll get a notification uh, in their web browser if you've accepted uh, the browser notification permission. Um, and then one click, they can jump into the event and you can get, get rolling. So you can see there's a couple of events ongoing right now. Uh, throughout the day. This DJ party's ongoing with a few folks. There was things happening throughout the spatial, spatial universe. Um, and then you can go through, see what are some of the newest spaces that were created, go back to your history, what are spaces you've visited recently, and then of course, see spaces that are you know, your own spaces that you've created. So how do you go about creating a space? Let's, you know, let's jump in. So if I come up to the top here in the top right, I can click create a space. And there's a whole lot of different ways to create a space on Spatial. This is one of the easiest ways to do it. Uh, and that's with all these templates that we provide to you, that our team and we work with some world-class architects and designers uh, to build uh, these spaces and these templates. So you can scroll through all the different templates that we have here. Some of them even have uh, different variations or variants like Agora, which was designed by Dewa Kang, uh, who was a former Zaha Hadid architect, world-class architect, worked with us to build uh, this beautiful space we have all different kinds of color variants that we have there as well. We have a couple of different gallery templates if you want to you know, set up an art gallery, an auditorium space. We actually have new auditorium spaces coming really soon. So you're getting some alpha there. So stay tuned for that really beautiful auditorium spaces. Uh, and then other things like an outdoor space, uh, some lounges um, as well that really get you going. Um, coming through to, to the left side here, just to go through this really quickly, um, we have some collectible spaces. So if you wanted, um, some really top tier spaces built by, you know, incredible artists. These are more limited edition uh, templates. Uh, so only about a hundred or so um, of most of these um, are out there today. You can go and, you know, purchase one of these um, to, to use for your own space, something like Versus Gallery, which is a massive, massive, basically museum sized gallery or Isoblock, um, which is an entire city block, uh, which was designed in collaboration with the photographer Trash Hand um, and our friends at Polycount Studios. So it's a whole city block with like an L train going by, a whole abandoned warehouse. It's really, really incredible. Uh, and then coming down, we have packages. So if as you build with uh, our Unity SDK, what we call the Creator Toolkit, these will all be available here as well. So you can use those as environment templates. And then your templates, as you build out spaces and as you customize your spaces, you can save them almost like a save as and then load them really quickly uh, in other spaces as well. So a really great way to kind of save state uh, in a space and load it in other areas. So I'm gonna come back to free um, and load up one of these templates. Actually, one other thing I'm gonna mention here on this screen too is upload custom space, which I which I jumped over. So if you have your own, uh, say, uh, static 3D model, like a GLB file, which could have animations with it, you can upload that, drag and drop that right into the browser window here and use that as your environment. So you're not limited to the templates that we have here um, or the Unity SDK, you can just upload a 3D model that you've created or purchased elsewhere and upload it right to Spatial. Um, but for the sake of time and for the demo here, I'm just going to choose uh, Agora, which is a really, really cool space. I actually really like this kind of orange sunset template. So I'm going to choose that variant and click that and jump in. And this is going to spin up our space. Now, this space is going to be instantly accessible um, across web, of course, which I'm in now, uh, VR and mobile. So I can, you know, if, I, if I'm done here, I can transfer over to another device and jump in uh, there as well. Um, and this will be really great. And then as soon as this is spun up, I'll be able to take this link uh, and then share it actually with all of you. So I'm going to 
uh, take the link here. You actually can't see it in my, uh, it's not sharing the whole browser window, uh, but I'll take uh, the URL here. I'm actually gonna paste it in the chat. So if anyone who's out there uh, and you wanna jump in this space with me and kind of get on the live stream, um, I'm gonna paste it in the chat. Uh, and it may not show up in all channels because um, we're using Restream to stream out to multiple sources at once. Um, but you'll see I'm going to go live here as well. So if you're on Twitch, uh, Facebook, or YouTube, you'll see that link in the chat. Um, so you can click that link and you'll be able to jump right into the space uh, with me, which is super, super cool. So this space is technically um, live. It's public to the extent that only people who have the link can access it, um, but not public in search just yet. So here I am in my space. I can see oh, people already joining, jacking VRs here. That's really awesome. Uh, and I can walk around the space. I've got my full body avatar. Um, so we, we have an integration with Ready Player Me um, that uh, allows us to have full body avatars that have like a huge range of customizability. We got a lot of people showing up. This is awesome. So if I come down to the bottom right corner, we've got this customize avatar button. I can click that. And we have a couple different options here. One is, um, you, if you wanted to use a photograph of your face as your avatar on a full body, we have that option. So if I wanted to say like this jacket outfit, but I wanted to, I use it with a, an old photo of me. I haven't updated it in a while. It's going to use, um, my real face on an avatar body. And then I can adjust, you know, if I wanted to tweak the, st the skin tone or adjust the color of the jacket, I can do that here. Um, or... You know, if I wanted something you know, a lot more custom, I can click on that pencil button and this is going to open up the Ready Player Me integration. And here, you know, I already have a Ready Player Me account, but if you click that, you can quickly sign up for one uh, and that'll be integrated. And you can see I have a whole wardrobe of all different kinds of outfits um, from partners like uh, Tommy Hilfiger to Adidas to the Dope Stilo Music Club, so many others um, that Ready Player Me and, and us at Spatial partnered with and plus, in addition to, you know, if you wanted, uh, we have our custom spatial tee as well, all different kinds of outfits uh, that you can you can wear in spatial. Um, I'm actually going to select this Calvin Klein outfit with the, the little duck or the uh, chicken hat here. And now I'm loaded in. I changed my avatar and we got We got a party going in here. Like this is <laughs> this is awesome. This is really, really cool. Um, so since we have a party going, I'm actually going to invite some more of my friends over and I'm going to hit this go live button. And so it's, it's going to tell me, you know, what's going to happen. I'm going to click go live. And now we got some confetti. We can do a little dance. My party and get down. Okay. Okay. So now all my followers have been notified that, hey, there's something going on here in the space. Um, and they can jump in. Well, we see Gia in the chat, so we've got text chat in the bottom corner here. Um, so Gia's, Gia's jumping in the chat. She's dancing. She's joining us in the metaverse. Um, and we got, got a real party. This is really, really awesome. So say I wanted to, to customize this space a little bit. I wanted to you know, zhuzh it up a little bit. Um, if I look down here at the bottom menu, we have a couple different things. Uh, one is sticky notes. So if I want to drop a note in the space, um, I can do that. I can do a quick search. So if I wanted to maybe bring in some pictures or some 3D models to quickly decorate the space, let's just say I'm going to search for some oh, some photos of some dogs uh, in here. Do a little photo search, and boom, we've got a couple a couple of cute dogs. I can click and drag and start to to move these around the space, and I even get some 3D models um, that are sourced from Sketchfab. Um, in here, the world's uh, the internet's largest 3D model library. So here we got a hot dog stand, not quite dogs, but hot dogs. And now, yeah, you know, I want to set up a hot dog stand in this space. So I'm going to click on that, and then I get these scale and position and rotation options. So I can scale this up. Um, I'm actually going to hide uh, the little info panel here, but you can add if you wanted to kind of add a little almost like gallery esque info panel with some more information and even add a link out. So if you start to build like a store in the space, you wanna link out to your own website, you can add a link uh, directly to any 2D or 3D content as well. But I'm just gonna hide that for now since we're gonna set up this hot dog stand. And I'm gonna put it, I'm just gonna put it over here just cause that looks like a good spot. I'm gonna rotate a little bit and then scale that up and just kind of click and move it into place. 
But you can see how easy it is to, to start to lay out some things, you know, 3D content in the space, all from my web browser. And I, I can be doing the exact same thing um, in VR and mobile uh, as well. So super, super easy, no matter what platform you're using, to set up uh, a space there. Uh, in Agora in particular, um, we have, you know, some galleries as well. So Agora is a really great space for like your community hub because it has like a presentation room, it has a networking lounge area, and it has these gallery areas. So I'm going to just start to select some some art that I have um, and start to put that in the space. I got this cool Dragon Ball Z photo. Uh, we've got some other things in here as well. Um, got some photos from Spatial. I'm going to start. We we give you these gallery templates and these frames um, so you can start to easily decorate your space. But you can also put things anywhere. So while I'm putting things in those frames, if I wanted to just you know select or Again, I can drag and drop uh, content as well. So for example, here on my computer, I'm just sharing my browser window, but I'm gonna drag and drop an image from my computer right into Spatial. And it's gonna load in just a second here, and boom. Now I have this image, that's kind of dope selfie. I'm gonna put it up on the wall over here and scale it up. Boom, now I'm starting to, I can put content anywhere, anywhere in the space. Um, which is super, super awesome. Um, now let's just say, you know, there's stuff I want to add in the space, but maybe, you know, a 3D model like you saw there, but I want to see maybe a larger access, uh, access to more content. Um, if I click on my content menu, these are things that I've uploaded recently. I dragged and dropped into Spatial. Um, we also have a stuff menu. So a bunch of stuff that, you know, we give to you to use in the space like a mirror, um, some more empty frames and some cool like other objects. Um, we have a whole furniture collection. This is our Odyssey collection. So if you wanted to give um, your community, the people in your space, place to sit, we have like couches and cool seats and tables and all this kind of stuff. I love the noodle couch. So I'm going to select that. And boom, I have a couch. Anyone want to take a seat on my couch over here? We can put a couple of couches. I can duplicate that too. So I'm going to click that. And then click duplicate. Boom. There we go. So you're starting to see how easy it is to to start to decorate and like create your space. And like within you saw within you know two minutes basically, I went from nothing to creating a space, and now there's 40 people in here with me. Um, and they're joining from all kinds of devices. People are joining from web. They're joining from VR, of course. Uh, and for mobile, and everyone's got their own custom avatars and designs and outfits uh, with legs, um, which is super super cool. Uh, so this is this is really really exciting. Um, so that's kind of the short version of of how to create a space in Spatial. There's so much more you can do from building with Unity, uh, which we'll do future uh, tutorials on and future videos on, uh, to creating and importing with Sketchfab, uh, which we can do as well. Um, and importing your own models. There's so many different ways uh, to do it. Uh, let us know in the in the comments, either in Spatial or in the stream, um, you know, how you like to build your space. Are there other ways you want to see us support, like building spaces or building interactive experiences? Um, and you know, we'll, we'll make that happen. Um, I do see some questions in here. I'm going to try and answer these really quickly as they're flying by. Um, is there so is there a screen share function? Actually, yeah, great question. Um, so there is a screen share function. So next to at the bottom here, um, we have add content. Next to that is actually I'll show you this is add portal. So say you want it to interconnect different spaces, either other spaces that you like or um, other spaces that you've made. I really like this cherry blossom feel. It's a really nice peaceful space. I'm gonna drop a portal in there, and this is a similar feature that Altspace has. I can drop this portal here in the middle of the room, and now anyone can go and jump through that portal uh, into that other space. Uh, and then screen share, someone asked about screen share. Right next to uh, add portal, I can click the add screen share button. And then it's popping up in Chrome. You're not able to see it here, um, but I'm able to share my Chrome tab um, in, uh, in Spatial. So say I want and I'm trying to bring up a, I'm going to get a little bit here. I'm just going to screen share the same browser tab um, into Spatial itself. And now actually in Agora, um, we have our, um, 
our presentation room, you know, our auditorium space. And it actually, in this particular template, it defaults to sharing on the wall there. So this is great for you. You have the stadium seating in this room and automatically puts it up on the wall on a large screen uh, for anyone to see. If say you were in a different part of the room or in a different part of the space and you still wanted to, to see the presentation or see what's being screen shared, if I click on the participants bar at the top, and this shows me everyone that's in the space, uh, then I can see the screen share. If I click on that screen share, this is gonna get really meta, but it's <laughs> it's showing the screen share on the screen. So I'm getting the infinite, the infinite mirror effect. Can somebody hear me here? I'll turn that off. Um, but yeah, so you yeah. can screen share into space. We have a lot of creators and we'll have some of them on here in a minute. Um, I can hear you. We'll use screen share to host events and concerts um, and, and live presentations. The oh, wow. see the screen share um, on the wall. Which is really, really cool. So, so hop in there, keep the questions coming. We're gonna answer those um, as best we can. We got a lot of stuff flowing through. Um, but next, you know, I, I, I think I've been talking a lot, um, but I wanna bring on some of our community, some of the spatial community to uh, say hi, to introduce themselves and tell you a little bit about, you know, what they're doing uh, in spatial and maybe some of the events that they have upcoming. Um, so I'm going to, um, let's say goodbye to Anand and Jack for right now. Bye, Anand and Jack. Uh, we'll see you guys uh, a little bit later. Um, and I'm going to bring up our friend Creative Owls. What's going on? Uh, we have CC in the house as well. And Prism. What's going on, guys? Hello, hello, hello. What's going on? Hi, oh, welcome. Mic check, Good one, morning, two, one, two. Everyone. Morning for me. Yeah, yeah. morning for you. <laughs> from glorious Hawaii. I know you guys are represented from all over the place. Um, yep, which, all over the world. And we're all really good friends, which is really nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Do you guys want to do a quick round of intros? Maybe CC start with you about who you are, like what yeah. you do in spatial, like the kind of stuff you like to do there? Yes. So hi, I'm CC. I am a digital artist, a world curator, <laughs> and just a fan of the metaverse. Um, I have a couple uh, Twitter spaces that I run, Metaverse Mondays, Mondays at 3 p.m. And then I do the Metaverse 3, which we adventure into other metaverses or other virtual worlds like alt space, actually. Um, and we learn and discover and grow together because interoperability is the future. That's the long and short of it. But in spatial, uh, particularly, I am an event planner. So to this morning, we had a beautiful gallery opening for a photojournalist by the name of Leslie Spurlock. So we streamed her AMA into the gallery space and people could walk around, listen to her talk about her um, experiences in Northeast India. It was, you know, um, a gallery show for uh, the Seven Sisters region. And they got to listen to her talk about the work and they got to see it um, in this virtual environment that was curated specifically for her. So that's just a example of um, what I do in spatial. I also attend a lot of parties and dance and I have business meetings because my, um, my colleagues are all over the world. My partner Jojo is in the UK. I work with amazing dev who is on the East Coast and I have a huge artist community um, that we're actually gonna start celebrating in the month of February with the Love and Color Gallery, which opens soft opening tomorrow. So uh, I spend a lot of my life in spatial and it's a beautiful community and we do so many things here. Um, education, we do showcases. Uh, we definitely do a lot of highlighting of the creatives in the space. And so long and short. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, Cece, you do so much. And what I love about what you do too is that, um, which is really all, like something that we value a lot too, is you're not doing everything on Spatial. You're really going out and like going and exploring other platforms and like really collabing with other creators and other platforms and hosting events that are across. Like you do stuff on Decentraline, you've done stuff on Mona, you've done stuff on Spatial. Like it's really awesome to have that because we really believe in that, that, you know, Spatial is not trying to build the singular metaverse. We're not trying to have everyone come to one place. We really think that all the platforms have a lot to bring, which is why we were sad to hear Altspace closing because it is an incredible community and there is so much that Altspace brings. Um, but we wanted to you know, have that outlet for uh, and a home for people to come to. Um, so CC is a great resource if you're like looking to explore the world and really want someone like down to earth um, who knows all the platforms, including Altspace. Um, she's yes. amazing. I'm here for you guys. Love, love, love. <laughs> She's Amazing. the best. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Al, creative Al, who are you? And why, what's, is that your real name? 
<laughs> uh, my real name is Eric, uh, but in my Web3 name, we, I go by Creative Owls. And I'm about to give you guys a little brief about myself. And before I do that, I would like everybody here that's listening, put in the chat where you guys are from. Uh, I'd like to get a scope of the land where everybody's tuning in here from. Uh, if you're on LinkedIn, if you're on Facebook, if you're on YouTube, put in the chat where everybody's from. I want to get a good scope of the land. Um, and what I do here, um, I host one of the biggest networking events in the metaverse. I lead the Polygon community uh, in the Web3 space and showcases virtual arts. And we do a lot of collaborating, a lot of training, and a lot of learning in the metaverse. I've worked with and I partner up with big brands. And what we're doing is that we're helping artists, we're helping creators uh, and businesses uh, that want to have an online presence uh, in the metaverse and establish that together. We have a showcase where we bring the best of the best from all over the world together and highlight each other's artwork, showcase each other's brands and collaborate. So we're bringing that type of business type and that type of online presence uh, into the metaverse using spatial. And I've used a lot of platforms, super bullish on spatial and happy to be here. Back over to you, Jake. Thanks, thanks, man. I'll catch the ball. That's, you, you've done that before. That's, that was a pretty... Uh... I have to, I have to. You have to, but we got people from all over. I see people. I see people from down under in Australia. You got the UK. We have Jersey. That's where I am, um, and and really people from all over the place, which is uh, which is really really super cool um, to see that. Um, Prism um, is that just like as creative? Is that your real face? Is that actually you? <laughs> <laughs> that's my Ready Player Me avatar. And hello, I know I'm blinking, and I apologize. I'm going to top in a second. This OBS thing is just not, you know. It's okay. Um, yeah, so I love spatial. Um, Creative Owls brought me on uh, early on. So, yes, thank you very much. And I do the podcast with Hi CC. Um, and I have my own YouTube channel where I show amazing tricks and tips uh, for how to use spatial, how to host on spatial, um, mostly focused on using spatial. So, Thank you so much for today. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, we're always available. I usually use Twitter the most, uh, but sometimes I'll, I'll use Facebook. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah, we have a yeah, the strong community on Twitter. We love, I know our whole Spatial family loves connecting on there. Uh, of course, we have our Discord too. And then, you know, Spatial itself, um, you know, we have people connecting on there too. Um, but I guess uh, creative, I, I think a lot of people love to hear you, you host, um, the polygon showcases and other events throughout the year. Like what kind of things do you have coming up or are there other events, you know, that you're yeah. looking forward to? Yeah. So a couple of, we just had our polygon showcase, uh, which was January 21st in our in metaverse environment. We just hit a new milestone, which is over 21,000 metaverse visits to our space. So big kudos to all the artists and participating in that, um, we do host the Women in Tech uh, Showcase Metaverse Gallery. We started it last year, and we're hosting it again March 8th. Um, so if you're interested, definitely check out creativeisles.io slash events and see what these women are, are, are doing uh, in, in the metaverse and tech and uh, listen to their stories and how they're influencing other women and other artists in the space. So that's kind of the, the two events that we got going on. We have done some events with Polygon Labs when we did a Polygon Takeover with Spatial. Um, when we let the entire artist take over the front page uh, and, and get that exposure for our artists and our creators in the space. So those are kind of the events that we've, we've been hosting so far. We're, we're going to be trying to do some more networking events um, and connect pretty much businesses to Web3 creators or people that want to know about the blockchain. Um, one of the hardest parts right now is the onboarding part. Um, it's a lot easier to onboard when you have a trainer or someone who's in the space that can help navigate you through that. And that's what we're here to do here today and uh, work with our spatial guides. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so that's one thing I um, maybe didn't mention was so uh, Creative, CC, Prism, and actually we have a lot of others um, are what we call our spatial guides, which is uh, our ambassadors. Now, these are people that, are, that use spatial every day that are real leaders in the community and are kind of like pushing the platform um, in all kinds of like really, really amazing ways. Um, you know, uh, use it creatively. We also have uh, Dope Stila, who's not on here now, but he hosts concerts and spatial daily, basically, um, in all kinds of uh, spaces. He has his own Stila world. So he's like really pushing it from a, a music and entertainment perspective. Um, so yeah, these are really great folks to, to connect with. 
uh, and hope, hopefully puts a, a face to, to a name, a face to the spatial community. Um, and they're really great resources um, for everybody. Um, Cece, we'd love to hear more like about like some of the stuff like, uh, it's you've, you've been to recently, like other things like upcoming that you're, I know you mentioned that the gallery event that's, I think today, was it today uh, you mentioned is, is, is kicking off? Um, yes, Leslie Sherlock's uh, photojournalistic um, collection dropped on foundation today. And so we did a gallery for her in spatial and it is museum quality and it's gorgeous. Um, so I did drop a link in, in world if you're interested in looking at that. Um, there are a couple of really cool spaces. You mentioned stilo.world. Uh, the Rocket Gallery is a beautiful collaboration between an amazing builder, um, Ash the Architect, or U Utopian Renaissance, and the Rocket Gallery. Um, Swedish Gold is his Twitter handle. And that is a beautiful um, collaboration between the two of them and housed within that world are seven or eight incredible artists um, from the Spatian community. Um, and that's a really beautiful experience. I have been getting into a few environments that are starting to utilize that Unity SDK and starting to gamify. Um, so it's just getting started and it's so exciting. I've learned how to run and to jump. Um, I went to my first spatial parkour park by Blockstone <laughs> yesterday and that was amazing um and then there's this amazing dragon that you can battle and collect coins um and I can drop that in world as well so I'm really getting excited I'm not a gamer but I'm so excited to see these creators that I've been working alongside for the past year really flex into themselves and right. just taking this unity uh you know, a gift that Spatial has given us and really making the most of it. And I know Creative Owls has been playing around. So he's probably got some, he's probably got some little tricks and treats for us as well too. So those are just a few and I'm happy to drop those links in world. It, it really is sky's the limit in Spatial. Um, so I feel like the more that you're in Spatial, the more your creativity uh, kicks into place and the more you see other artists or what they're creating and what resources they're using and then spatial continuously drops new features so uh, it's a it's a huge learning um, cycle and growing cycle as you're on this platform moving forward so if you're a creator you're an entrepreneur and you're looking to take your business or see where you're at in the metaverse this is a great great platform definitely Definitely. Yeah. You guys have grown a lot since I've known you now, like two years, I think, you know, at this point, like from where you guys were to where you're growing, like creative, like you're building worlds now. Like you, I feel like you weren't, you weren't doing that at the beginning and building jetpacks. You just tweeted like, like you're like doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Like that's nuts. Like you would have thought who you thought you'd be doing that like two years ago, <laughs> like building well, jetpacks. No, not yet. Not at all, because I don't have the blender experience. I don't have all that 3d experience. So there was a huge learning curve with getting into the 3D and the metaverse space or the digital space or creating your digital twin. So I obviously, I think I took, I use gravity sketch. Um, I'm a creator. I put on my headset and that's the way that I create and that's the build. So that's why I've been able to break the barrier to get into the metaverse. Uh, and then from there, I can start dabbling with Blender and then eventually heading over to Unity to kind of take the full exposure of all the features uh, that you can utilize in, in, in Unity. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a lot there, and I kind of want to touch on that too because we're getting a lot of questions. Um, so I want to kind of roll into like some of the Q and A and answer some of the questions that are coming through, and um, you know maybe you guys can can help answer them as they come through. But um, you know I'll take some of the initial ones. Um, you know, so I think the two big questions that we've been seeing a lot, um, you know, concerning spatial, particularly as people come from alt space, is um, does this cost money? I hear there's some like twenty five dollar like cost or something like that to use the platform to like bring my communities over. So I want to, you know, address that first. Um, so with spatial to create a space to do 99% of the features on the platform, no, there's, there's no fee, there's no cost, there's no subscription um, to use, to use the platform, to use spatial. Um, the, the $25 costs that uh, people have brought up is spatial plus. Um, so that is an add-on capability to the platform. Um, so if you're hosting events with, you know, 50 or under people, um, and you're creating your own space and creating your own world, you can do all that. You don't have to pay a dime. 
won't have to pay a dime to Spatial. Spatial Plus adds a couple of additional features just to make things a little bit smoother um, for larger events, um, say above 50 people, um, and gives you additional things like host tools. Um, so if you wanted to, you know, maybe control at a more fine tune level, maybe some people can edit things or maybe some people can move some things around, or maybe you want to just quickly send people to, to their seats, um, to, to move things along more quickly. Host tools allows you, uh, to do that. Uh, and Jack actually put in the chat. Thanks, Jack. Um, more additional features about spatial plus, um, in the chat. So if you go to spatial.io slash pricing, it'll lay that out, um, a little bit more. Um, also gives you features, which is really cool, um, real-time live translation. Um, so uh, if you're hosting an event with um, lots of, I'm going to bring Prism back here. Give me a second. Um, so if you're hosting an event with people from all over the world, and it looks like we have people from all over the world um, from all, that speak all different languages, all different backgrounds, um, the real-time live translation is great. So you can host events um, with people that speak all different languages uh, as well. So if you have someone speaking Thai and someone speaking Spanish and someone speaking English, you can all converse together. And what that does is as you speak, it does uh, a voice to text conversion um, and then puts that text above your head in your chosen speaking language. Uh, now only the person who's the owner of the space uh, needs to have uh, spatial plus in order for anyone in the space uh, to use that capability. So really awesome and allows you to, I've connected with people from all over the world that I wouldn't have been able to, you know, to meet or have it's a conversation crazy. before, it's crazy. which is, it's pretty wild. Yeah. When you experience it, it's like you, you hear another language, but I'm able to understand because I can read the, the subtitles that are being automatically translated for them. So it's, it's super, super cool. Um, so, so that's awesome. Uh, I'm seeing, I'm just going through some of the questions here. Um, hey, Jake. Yes. I wanted to mention that uh, one of the, I think one of the most powerful things that Spatial is providing is the ability with the social in the profile. Like you can now build a your whole uh, social network, your business card. Um, mm -hmm. For people that are looking at this as a business, um, it has a, an incredible suite of features. Oh, yeah. um, and from like putting your artwork uh, to marketing, um, you have like an incredible set of features there. Um, you can now follow your friends there. Uh, you can, the go live is just like we're going live right now in real life, but we can do it in real ready player me avatars. I think that's just one of my favorite features. Um, and also uh, for artists that are in the crowd, I think it's an incredible platform to show off your art um, and to basically get unlimited real estate for your artwork that then can be you know shown. I mean, imagine opening up a gallery today in real life in New York in a prime real estate location. Um, that is what Spatial is offering for Zero. Like you guys are offering just an incredible uh, setup, and you can meet musicians that are you know the next the next Drake. You know you're you're looking at these amazing. Um, I, I mean I've I meet people all the time in Spatial. Um, and have screen sharing, you know, or showing off my artwork or showing off new ways of uh, showing content in a decentralized way. So I, I know you guys have a Web3 counterpart, like you guys let Web3 creators show off their uh, their pieces. And I think that's really powerful, like whether it's Ethereum, Solana um, or Polygon, you, you support all those chains, but it's not a requirement. It's a it's an option. It's an add on, which is, I think, really powerful. Exactly. Yeah. So for those who who use that or care about Web3 or own NFTs or, or as an artist, you have those, you can use those. It's an additional integration. If you don't even know what NFT stands for, or if that if that um, acronym like stirs up emotions inside, that's that's a, you don't even have to worry about it. It's a totally separate thing. So both communities, you know, we hope can can coexist um, on that platform. And you can learn from, from one another there too. So we really try and have different components and integrations that allow, um, everyone, um, um, to, to bring stuff in and you can show off your art or you're bringing your content, your videos, your 3d models, your images, just by dragging and dropping it into spatial. Um, so super easy to do that. And then link it out. If you have like a Shopify store or your own website or whatever it is, just hype, you can add a hyperlink to it. Um, either through actually you can customize a portal that you saw before and have that link out to another site. Um, or if you have you know, a piece of art or you know, an image or to your website, 
you know, you can link that and take that to your site too. Um, so super easy to really have Spatial be your kind of 3D hub um, for everything else that you're doing. If you're if you're selling clothes, if you're uh, you know an artist or a musician, you know Spatial can really act as that hub uh, for you. So yeah, that's that's a great point to emphasize. Um, is that is that you can uh, definitely do that. Um, one other uh, two other questions I'm seeing in there. Can you screen share in Spatial without host tools? Definitely. Uh, anywhere anyone can screen share. Uh, up to 1080p, 60 FPS into your own space um, or one that you've been given edit permission to um, with no, no additional cost to do that. So lots of people do that to, to even host live streams and concerts and events uh, in their spaces. You can also do um, webcam share too, right? You can share your webcam right above your head, which I think is really cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so within Spatial, all different ways to interact in the space. You have your avatar, we have voice chat, we you can turn on your webcam that appears above your head. And you can turn any of these on and off and you have text chat uh, as well. So all great options for, for interacting in the space. I also know it's really funny, Prism, that for some reason you're invisible. I don't know why your webcam's not showing up. And the same, so I see creative going like, is that the voice of God? Like where <laughs> well, this is God, this is how spatial mm. mode works, right? When you're not yeah. in spatial fall-off mode, you, yeah. you hear everybody in the space. This is exactly I was trying to create that experience for you. Yeah. And I, Jake, can I tell our alt space friends my favorite uh, feature that I think they will really, really enjoy? Go for it. Okay. Alt spacers, if you are in world, you should uh, do a little exercise. Um, you can scroll out into third person by using your mouse, and then you can take a selfie by hitting the V button. And uh, you hit V to get your face. And then if you hit T, you can take a selfie and it will download to your device and it will time, date, and location stamp it for you. So you don't have to go to your gallery um, on, a, on a web browser. It's right there in front of you as a download and you can use it for your socials right away immediately. Um, when I ran into that barrier in alt space where I couldn't have the images right away, I was a little sad, but now that I can share with you guys that you can have it at your fingertips in a moment. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and hope you guys go, guys go crazy with it because it's so fun. So that is one of my favorite spatial features because it time, date, and location stamps it. And my brain loves that. That's, yeah, that's an awesome, yeah, it's an awesome capability um, that you can do that. Yeah, just, yeah, downloads right locally and like video too. So we have, a, we didn't even get into, there's so many features. Like if we get into all the spatial features, I think we'd be here for like a month. Um, it's, it's just absolutely, and, and there's more coming too. Like we're not done. Like every, like literally tomorrow, there's more stuff coming next week. There's more stuff coming. Like, like it's just, we, we, our team, and you'll see actually there, I see a lot of our team, uh, in the chat here. Uh, we have Waldo on in Jack, um, Gia, so many others from the spatial team who are jumping in the chat. Um, Waldo is one of our, our lead engineers. Um, someone asked a question. I forget. I, I didn't see the exact feature. Is, is there's this such and such bug or is this, this feature coming? And he's like, yeah, it's coming tomorrow. Um, so we're, we're really, our team is really active and, and we really want to hear from you, um, whether it's here today, like in the chat, um, or, you know, after today, jump into the discord, jump into the Twitter, um, uh, at spatial underscore IO. Um, and yeah, we want to hear all your feedback. Uh, I know one of those other pieces of feedback, um, that we've heard, you know, uh, uh, is one we just added recently, um, is through, uh, we added the ability to do smooth locomotion in VR. So you can hit up on the thumbstick and move naturally through the space. Um, adding that on, you know, we had the uh, teleport capability in VR, which we still have. Um, and we added the blinders um, feature on there too. For, so for those who might get motion sick, um, you know, that helps with any motion sickness. Um, right now, there isn't the ability to turn it off, um, but we will be adding a switch so you can choose if you want that on or off. Uh, going forward, because I know it's important to uh, to have that choice. Can I tell Zarnia um, VR that there's a selfie stick in um, in VR mode, and that is even more fun? <laughs> <laughs> so Zarnia, yes, get that selfie stick out, my friend. It's going to blow your mind. <laughs> OK, I didn't want to. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, that's awesome. And yeah, it's a, it's a fun feature, too. Yeah, to grab that selfie stick. And it's great for, like, if you're, like, you record yourself in, in the Oculus, and you can almost do, like, a like a, a tour, like here, this is my crib, because it's got that camera facing you kind of thing. So it's, it's a lot of fun uh, to use that. Um, but yes, 
Um, but yeah, I see all the comments, blinders turning off. We will give you that option very, very soon. We hear you know that, that that's an important feature uh, on the VR side. Um, yeah, so I think let's have the questions coming. Drop your, if you've created your spatial profile, drop it, uh, the link to it in the chat. Uh, I'm, I'll drop mine in there right now as well. Uh, I am spatial.io slash at Jake. So you can, oops, I typed spatial slash big. I forgot that, dot IO. You can put mine in there too, Jake, if you want. Yeah. I, wa I want all the alt space friends. <laughs> I want to follow everyone. Yours is at high CC, is that right? I want to make sure I get that. You got it, yep. I and if it. anybody is interested actually like hosting events in spatial or in the metaverse, I created an entire YouTube video providing my 10 best tips of how to host uh, metaverse events. So if this is your first time that you're looking to host your event in a metaverse, uh, I give you all my 10 tips that I've personally have ran through that you, it can be your checklist as you guys are starting to put together. So if you guys want that, let me know in the, in the comment box and we'll be able to put that, that comment in there. I don't know how to comment in this back end side, but I think you guys should check it out. It's, all, it's a YouTube video. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you send me the, uh, the link, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the, uh, in the chat here so people can share it out. With the other. Hopefully, hopefully my community that's in here can find it in the chat and drop it. That's my community challenge. If you guys can find it for me. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if they, if they comply. I'm sure we'll see it here, uh, shortly. Um, so we'll drop in here. Yeah, they keep dropping those links in there uh, and keep the questions coming. We want to give give a few more minutes to answer uh, answer some more questions. What other things do you want to know about Spatial? What other features do you want to see? Um, what things are you experiencing coming over to a new platform? Um, you know, from Altspace that that we're not doing that we can be uh, doing better. Um, yeah, I see event page. That's a big part of it as well. Um, we definitely want to be bringing events, uh, better event management uh, to Spatial. Um, we're going to be working on that uh, as well. And then the last question, just I've seen that question a couple of times in terms of what Unity uh, version to use for world building. Um, so if you go to our uh, Creator Toolkit documentation, which I'll put, uh, you'll see it on the bottom here now, um, spatial.io slash toolkit. That's got all our docs. Um, so right now you can use uh, Unity 2021.3.8. Um, so it's a newer version that I believe uh, Altspace supports. Um, we'll also share out, it's been shared on our socials, our guide for migrating from uh, Altspace to Spatial. Um, we have our guide to do that. So you can take your, uh, your Altspace project uh, and bring it over through our Unity SDK and hopefully make that uh, really easy to do uh, as well. Uh, yeah, Cece, what's going on? You, you said you wanted to add something. Oh, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, I think you already addressed it. Um, just kind of go through the um, process of how to become um, a publisher for Unity environments, um, because I'm sure a lot of our alt space fam would be super interested in that. So, yeah, you got it. You got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Anyone can. So anyone can go and actually uh, download the Creator Toolkit, download the SDK, and our uh, starter uh, tar starter templates. I'm actually gonna uh, I'm gonna bring it up here. Let me load that link here. So spatial.io/toolkit. Let me share my screen. Uh, and we'll be doing more tutorials soon as well. Here we go, share screen, boom. So this is uh, our documentation um, for that. So like I said, more video tutorials coming soon. Um, we walk you through all the different features and components um, that you can use currently. We're actually gonna be adding a lot more soon. We're gonna be putting out our roadmap uh, in the next day or so. So you'll see what's coming, um, including you know things like the ability to create um, custom avatars, drivable vehicles, perhaps, um, visual scripting support as well. Um, so you can um, actually create interactive objects, so very similar to MREs or mixed reality um, components, um, objects in Altspace. You'll be able to bring those uh, or create those um, in Spatial as well. Uh, and the process for becoming a publisher. So like I was saying, anyone can come in, you can download the starter template, which is contains the SDK components and build and publish to your private sandbox space to test out your environment, uh, make sure everything looks good and works. And that is currently available just uh, in the web browser today. Um, and then when you wanna make your space public, um, you'll actually, when you go, I don't have Unity open right now, but um, when you go to hit the publish button in Unity, within the Creator Toolkit, you actually get a quick pop-up uh, that says you just need to fill out a quick application 
uh, to do that. And that'll bring you to, to this page, this form. Um, so if you just fill this out really quickly, ask you for some basic information, uh, we ask for uh, images and videos uh, or videos of the space or spaces that you're building. Um, and that's the key part um, of the application um, is we want to see what you're building. Since we can't access your private sandbox, since it's private just to you, show us what you're building. And we really want to um, you know, see the, the really cool stuff that you're building. Um, and then we'll approve that application. And it's a one-time approval. Once you're approved, you can then publish uh, your environments and worlds uh, to Spatial from, from the Creator Toolkit. So it takes just a couple of minutes to fill that out. Uh, and we review those on a regular basis uh, and we'll respond within about uh, 48 to 72 hours. Um, and then you can get going. There's already been hundreds, if not thousands of people who, um, who've been, uh, or who are applying to be publishers. We have had thousands of spaces created with the Creator Toolkit just in the last month. We've only had this out for one to two months. Um, so it's a huge amount of demand uh, for the Creator Toolkit. So we're really excited now um, that uh, the Altspace community is coming over for you guys to bring your worlds that are already built and bring them over to Spatial for the whole Spatial community and really the world since it just lives at a link um, to experience and, uh, and try out. But yeah, I think, I think that, that about does it. I'm going to uh, stop my screen share here. Thank you to uh, Prism, who's invisible right now, to Creative Owl, to CC, our Spatial Guides, uh, for joining. Uh, really appreciate you guys giving a face to the community. I'm going to bring back, we got Jack. Uh, Jack, I'm going to bring you back up here as well just to say bye. Um, and then if you're still in the the, the spatial space um, that I shared before, uh, Gia is in there. So go say hi to her and her avatar. She's probably doing some dance moves. Um, and yeah, all space community, thank you for coming. And for all the spatial community that joined us as well, thank you guys for coming. Um, <laughs> love to hear. <laughs> What was that? Did I miss something? No, I'm, I'm laughing at CC. So you can connect us. I don't know, like the heart, half of the heart. I don't know what side you're. Oh, on. she did. Oh, you guys are doing okay. I was not. <laughs> there we go. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll do it with our avatars. It's quite easy. <laughs> but on that note, on that bombshell, thank you, everybody. If you have any questions, feel free to chat to us. Looking forward to seeing you in spatial. And have a great we'll rest of your day. <laughs> we'll see you in the metaverse. See you in the metaverse. All right. Take care, everybody.